Hey guys, I'm back uh, with another update. Today is uh, July, uh, July, January 13th, uh, 2023. Uh, I ended up calling QBP, or basically the company that creates carbon bars for salsa and whiskey. And uh, I talked to a young lady, she was fantastic. Service was wonderful. She answered all my questions. And uh, uh, as much as I hate, or actually don't hate, I don't, I dislike recalls, and I'm sure most of you don't enjoy them either. Um, they seem to be very, they seem to really be catering to us and making sure that we are taken care of. So um, if you guys were thinking about doing this recall, uh, it's definitely something I would consider. Um, I didn't read the fine print properly initially, so, but I did get a, a better explanation over the phone. Uh, she mentioned actually, if you guys decide to go through with the recall, what's going to happen is that you're going to take it into the dealership, they're going to fill out the form, and basically they're going to make sure that the bar gets destroyed. And once that confirmation is done, um, basically they will either, if you decide to take advantage of the recall, they will send you an alloy bar replacement temporarily with the same sizing as you ha currently have. Or, if you'd like to make an adjustment, you can also request a different size. And then um, they will send you the alloy bar temporarily. And, and once the carbon bar, once it's redesigned and it comes back out, I believe they, they mentioned uh, in the spring, they will send the carbon bar as well. Uh, they will cover the labor for the the change, the, the installation and removal of the existing, uh, of the existing bar to the replacement bar, so on and so forth. Uh, they also will include uh, bar tape. Um, so something to consider you guys if you don't like, if you like your existing bar tape, uh, take it off if you can, if you're okay with doing that or get, buy a replacement. But considering they're gonna cover all the labor costs and the replacement bar and give you an alloy bar, which you do not have to give back, um, I really feel like, yes, they screwed up, but at the same time, I'm like, uh, I've seen a lot of other companies do far worse in terms of uh, replacing products, uh, specialized, for example, with their uh, their issue with their forks. Uh, their, I think it was either delamination, someone mentioned, or basically cracking, something of that nature. So, um, and they, they all they did was give you a longer headset spacer, or no, some sort of headset, head, headset clamp or something like that. Um, yeah, that was really sad. Uh, in terms of costs, yeah, I get it, because Specialized is a huge company. They probably have to replace a billion of them, and those carbon forks, I'm sure, don't come cheap. But, uh, yeah, that was really sad. But um, I actually forgot to ask if they're going to be just as light, but if they're being redesigned, chances are they're going to be heavier. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be contacting my local dealer. I had a chance to talk to them already. They were pretty, pretty nice. Um, if the bike shop is kind of giving you a hard time, tell them, ask them to give QBP a call. And basically, the, the the spokeswoman basically told me that they would make it worth the dealer's time. Um, if you decide you don't want to go the carbon route anymore, and you decide that you just want new bars as a whole from a different company, or maybe you want to wait out for the Spano to come back in stock from whiskey, or whatever you want to do. Um, you can also get a refund. Um, so that's also something to consider. Uh, I personally don't think I'm going to go that route because number one, bars are expensive as hell. Number two, I feel like I, I know QBP will probably try to make some effort to make it worth the time for the shop to take, tackle this. But at the same time, I feel like, yes, it's going to be a loss on QBP's part and I'm grateful to them to actually for them to take care of this, but at the same time, it's like I feel like if you're going to trouble a shop to actually go about and process all of this for you, you have to make it worth their time. So I think on my end, what I'm going to do is actually have them do the installation and replacements and so on and so forth. But yeah, um, and I probably will buy my 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 bar tape from them afterwards because yes, I could save ten, fifteen, twenty bucks buying it elsewhere, but at this point. Uh, I feel like a lot of places are shutting down now and it's, 
I've seen new bike shops sprout up, but at the same time, I want, I really do want to support uh, my local bike shops. Um, and I'm finally at a point in my life where I can versus I have to versus uh, sourcing used parts everywhere left and right. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do so. And I would encourage you guys to do the same if you can. If you can't, I get it. I was at that point, and that's okay. You know, it's a, it's it's not a it's not a cheap hobby. So um, if you can, great. If you can't, it's all good too. Um, anyways, uh, other than that, I don't really have any other feedback. Uh, I did try to ask them to exchange it for a Spano bar, but I, I, I kind of got a little bit of uh, understanding that they're probably not going to do that, uh, which is why the re refund uh, option came up. And so, um, and also Spano bars are, right now, the, they're very limited in stock. I think the only one they had, they said, was the 48 centimeter. Yeah, uh, other than that, I don't have any other input. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down below. Uh, and if you appreciate this, like, subscribe, so on and so forth. It's good seeing you guys, and I will be back with more videos.